Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into another Amazon tool deals video. So I'm kind of doing these bi-weekly now instead of monthly. Cuts down on the time of the videos. Sometimes some of those deals disappear by the time it's posted so I like to do them more often now because then the deals are still available uh, by the time I get the video posted. So even if you guys watch the video and one of these tools or whatever isn't like at the discounted price anymore just wait around for it like usually once to two times a month a lot of these tools are on sale so there's just a whole lot so i try and include the ones that i'm actually interested in uh, or own for you guys so keep that in mind also keep in mind that not all of these are uh tools that are on sale some of them are just tools that are good deals to me like tools i know that are great even at the full price or they're tools that I may have questions about even for you guys. So if any of you guys own them, I would like your guys' input. But once again, share your guys' thoughts of these Amazon videos down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, so this is a Wen product. And in one of my previous videos of Harbor Freight, they had their sander just like this on sale. I think it was the Bauer one for $100. And then immediately after that, like the next day, they had it up to 130 or something like that. So I, I don't know if it was a glitch in their system where they had it $100 or what, um, but you don't really see that anymore. But keep in mind that Bauer, like there are so many brands that make the same sander and that not just the sander, but many other tools. A lot of companies sell the exact same tools just under their name. So if you find one that you like, Make sure you check Amazon for all these other brands. Just type in whatever tool you're specifically looking for. If it's a brand like Bauer or Doyle or Wen or Power Tool or, you know, any of those kind of off, I wouldn't say off brands, but, you know, not like mainstream tool brands uh, because a lot of companies will sell the same tools for varying prices. But I do own a couple of Wen products and they are cheaper product, but as far as the products that I own, they have done very well for the price. Uh, and this is one of them that I can, I would consider, whether it be from Wen or any other brand. But this one's at 117 down from 127 so $10 off. I do a lot that involves using a sander like this, and I use it a lot at work, where I find myself actually needing one at home. So I may consider this, if you guys have a brand that's around this price range that you've used and you find reliable, that you would consider maybe over this one, please drop it down in the comments and let me know your guys' thoughts. But this one's 117. It's got four and a half stars at 2,406 ratings. Uh, and it's just a great overall uh, design. I really like that you got dual sanders here. But uh, one of these I can definitely find many uses for. So once again, if you guys have any other brands that you suggest, please share it down in the comments. Okay, so this is actually one of the tools from when that I actually own. And I think I bought it for around the 25, maybe pushing it $30 range. Uh, and I've seen this up towards the $30 range, but now it just, for the last like year or two, it just hangs out at that $22 price range, which is a fantastic deal. I've had mine for six plus years and it is fantastic. Um, I had a Dremel, a cordless one, and the battery went out on me within a month. And so I, was, I wasn't about to drop any more money on a Dremel. I could have probably just went the quarter route and been just fine. But I took my chance with this one, and I'm glad I did. Because even though it's nothing like super fancy or anything, this thing has served me a lot. It helped me uh, kind of port and clean up some of my head work that I did. And uh, just cleaning up the engine bay in here, very small areas. This thing has been fantastic, and I've, I've used it a lot. Uh, the only thing that ever went out on me was like here on the flex cable like it started to separate i can't remember if it's at the tool end of it or if it's at the base end but it started to separate and i literally just took in the spring and and started to come off of the plastic sheathing and i just kind of zip tied the spring to the sheathing to prevent it from moving and i haven't not that i use the flex tool portion all that much but it worked and that was the only issue i ever had with it overall it's been fantastic especially for 22 dollars it has four and a half stars at almost eleven thousand ratings as far as these bits i haven't used a whole lot of them i picked up my own like little uh rotary tool bit set 
but a lot of the cutting blades and stuff like that i picked up a lot of those because i use them a lot i used a lot of these little sanding rolls they were fantastic overall i think this is a great buy for the price and then when i was looking at that rotary tool uh, to add it to this list i noticed this one this one is probably a little bit newer uh, it's a little bit more expensive at the 33 dollars price range so still really cheap but you get a lot of variety as far as tools included or bits whatever you want to call them different sandpapers cutting discs wheels uh, wire tools drill bits deburring tools you know a lot of grinding stones and stuff like that it definitely comes with a lot it's got a carrying case where everything sits in it mine's just kind of all jumbled in a in a case but it doesn't matter because i'm still extremely happy with it uh so i'm pretty sure this one's a little bit stronger than the one that i have but the one that i have is plenty strong for the things that i use it for anyways i hardly ever used it at the full speed so I'm happy with it, but if you would want to step up to something a little bit stronger or something with a little bit more speed, this is probably the way to go if you're sticking in that cheaper price range. This one is $33, four and a half stars at 1,150 ratings. Here I'm throwing the Craftsman set on here. The only time I really ever consider Craftsman is when it's on sale because I think the Craftsman lineup at its full price is too high for what it is i mean it's nothing spectacular over any of the other store brands that you see uh, yet a lot of the times the pricing is above all the other store brands depending on the tool but a majority of the craftsman stuff is uh pretty spendy for what it is but if you can find them on sale you can find some good deals a lot of the time so this is a 216 piece set it's a three drawer toolbox kind of carrying case so a nice little case uh I mean, the, the layout seems decent. It was originally 220 I know I posted it in a previous video for 150 I believe. Uh, and now it's at 119 so it's $100 off, so even cheaper than before. So I think this is a decent deal for a 216-piece set. But if you guys own this, please share your comments down below or your thoughts on the product. But I figured at $120, that's a pretty good deal. This is four and a half stars at 536 ratings. Then we have a Tekton quarter inch drive set. This is the 12 point socket set. It's a 55 piece. It's both SAE and metric. You get shallow and deep. SAE is 530 seconds through 9 16 and four through 14 for the metric. So there you can see in the bottom half of the kit, it's all the metric and the top half is going to be all of your SAE. And then you got a couple extensions up there. You got a universal joint a bit adapter, uh, your screwdriver with the bit adapter, and then the 90 tooth ratchet with the quick release. I love Tekton tools. They've served me very well. They're good quality, great pricing, uh, great warranty process if you ever do have to warranty anything. And this is even on their website. A lot of the times I'll recommend going to the Tekton tools website, but this is actually $70 on the Tekton tools website. Yes, you get the 10% back in rewards or 10% in rewards when you purchase an item from the Tekken site, but this is at $58 right now. So you save almost $12 and uh, it's a great buy. So I would not be afraid to purchase this whatsoever. So five stars at 457 ratings. And then here they have a deal going on. I, I don't know if you would really consider it a deal, but here you have the quarter inch and the three H drive set for 140, normally 155 for the two kits. That's basically because the quarter inch drive set is on sale for the $58 instead of the $70. That's how it brings it down to 140. So all because of the quarter inch set, but $140 for these two sets is a really good price either way. I think the 3H drive runs $85. So all around, definitely a good buy if you're looking for some quarter inch and 3H socket sets. Here they have the mountain long double box and ratcheting wrenches. There are a few brands that are very popular Mountain, uh, Gear Wrench, Easy Red, Capri, Tekton. I mean, there's a few brands out there now with some good, reliable double box end wrenches, uh, especially the long ones. And then the, you have all of your Amazon like, no, never heard of brand names that sell these, but they're going to be extremely cheap compared to these, not just as far as pricing, but quality as well. But if you're looking for an extremely cheap set, Amazon does have them, but if you're looking for a good, reliable uh, set, 
a lot of professionals use this brand and really enjoy it, especially for the pricing over some of those professional tool truck brands. So this is definitely something to consider. It says the list price is 193. I don't know if I've necessarily seen them at the 193 price range, but it is on sale for 129 right now, which is a little bit cheaper than what I normally see it at. I, I want to say I see it around the 150 dollar price range. Um, but right now from their list price, it's a savings of $63. This is five stars at 1,189 ratings. So a good, nice, uh, reliable set here. And it is 12.90 teeth, four degree arc swing. And uh, here you can see since the extra long double box and rationing wrenches, it's 80% longer than your standard double box and wrenches. Then we have a set from Capri Tools. I think this is a good deal. It's $40. It's the Capri Tools quarter inch drive shallow and deep chrome socket set. It's six point. It's four through 15. So you do get that 15 millimeter in the quarter inch drive set. And it's a 28 piece set total. And it comes on the Westling billet aluminum organizer that's made in the USA. I love the organizers from Westling. Uh, if I could, I would outfit my entire toolbox with them. I've used many organizers and Ernst and Westling are definitely my two go-to socket organizers. I just love the look, the anodized color, the ease of organizing with these rails all around. You can tell it's a very nice set. I've never had any issues with any of my Capri sockets and that, uh, that Westling rail is just a nice touch on top of it all. And then you can also get it without the organizer as well if that's something you're not interested in. I, I believe it's $10 cheaper without the organizer. I figured I'd throw that on there just because I find these sockets very reliable and the organizer is always a plus. And then last up, I figured I'd throw this on there because it's on sale right now. It's the Gear Wrench 10 piece quarter inch and 3H drive 6.10 millimeter socket set. This is the exact same one that I have on sale right now from tw at $25 down from 30. And uh, you get five quarter inch drive sockets and five three H drive sockets. Same sockets, just two different drive sizes. So in each drive size, you get a 10 millimeter impact socket, shallow chrome socket, mid length, deep well, and a universal socket in both quarter inch and three H. So a nice little set, especially for those in need of some 10 millimeter sockets. Now it could just be by chance that you buy this and just lose the whole thing. Who knows? Uh, but I just zip tie it to something. I don't know. But it's a really good set for the price. I've used mine a lot and it's held up very well. And it's just nice to have, especially when I know I'm working with a lot of 10 millimeters, I can just simply grab anything off that rail. I don't have to search any of my other sockets for 10 millimeter. So it's a nice addition, but that's it for this week's Amazon tool deals video. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Once again, if you've used any of those sanders or any of the other tools, please feel free to share your thoughts on those as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. See you guys next time.